Thanks for staying with us. All right, we've talked about creativity. There's so yeah. much freedom in self-expression mm -hmm. and therapy as well, yeah. right? A unique perspective can bridge gaps that may divide and separate humanity, whether it's literary, visual, musical, or physical. We have an author here, C.J. Ward. His creations aim to make that connection. And you're gonna tell us all more about this. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thanks glad for having me. You're glad welcome. Glad we're, we're glad you're here. Well, well before we talk about yeah. your work, tell us about your you. Yeah, who, <laughs> who is <laughs> C.J. Ward? Well, uh, I guess to keep it simple, I'm an educator and uh, also a counselor, and I use literature and fine arts and other modes of self-expression to uh, motivate, inspire, and encourage uh, the community, specifically the youth. So, okay. Are you from Central Kentucky? I'm actually from Paducah, Kentucky. Okay, so, so you're, you're local, local here. Yes. Well, that's still Kentucky. So yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So a little west, but. Well, what inspires you to do this kind of work? I mean, writing a book's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my life experiences. I believe we're all, you know, born for a purpose, you know, born with a reason. And it's our responsibility mm -hmm. to, to find that purpose and fulfill that, that reason, so. What more reason than that could you ask for? So, and I see that you've wrote a lot of books. Mm -hmm. So how many books have you wrote? And like, what direction do you start out when you're writing a book? Does it just come to you overnight or how does that work? Uh, just, you know, specific areas. I uh, actually have 13 mm -hmm. to, to date. Um, you know, I have, uh, let's see, Bible Companions. I also have Daily Devotions. I have a uh, series of books for uh, elementary uh, girls. And also uh, for, I have a, a definite affinity for, you know, the mental health mm -hmm. aspect, especially the military. Uh, those that deal with PTSD, mm -hmm. uh, you know, also wrote, you know, the Warrior's Code. And mm -hmm. that's kind of the background for that, so. Now, CJ, we talked a lot about how creativity can help with healing and all the diseases and, and events that people have dealt with in their life. You have a very clear vision, from what I understand, of what you want to do with all of your creations. Yes. What is that? Um, it kind of stems back to, from my experience. Uh, my parents, they were definitely influential. Uh, my mother was definitely an advocate, you know, throughout school and throughout life. And uh, you know, I try to give that to as many, mm -hmm. as, many as young people and as people in general as possible. And uh, my father gave me a strong work, e work ethic. So uh, during his work, <coughs> he's uh, taught spe special education. And uh, not just special education, but he was also a, a girls track coach. So during special education, there was a lot of young uh, individuals that were very welcoming and just full of potential. and. Uh, those staff members that you know work with those individuals uh, really made me feel home. So you know, once again, I try to you know give back. Yeah. And uh, for the girls, uh, the, whether they ran track or they played basketball, I saw there were certain things that they didn't receive as far as you know that the boys mm -hmm. received, and vice versa. So I also felt like I would have to advocate for them as well. So. Right. Great. So when did you actually start on this journey, though? When did you start writing books? How old was she? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I think I always kind of wrote and jotted mm -hmm. things down my whole life, but uh, specifically in 2014. Oh, okay, so not that long ago. Not too long. Honey, you've been writing and you got 13 books and that's just been about five years ago. Honey, you've been busy. <laughs> you have been busy. How would yeah. you explain Absolutely. what you feel when you release your creative energy does that, does that make sense? I mean, yes. what you're doing is, is helping other people, but it's probably also helping you. Correct. Uh, it's more therapy for me, uh, very therapeutic. Also, you know, not only in literature and other uh, creative aspects, but also even as far as uh, physical mm -hmm. uh, awareness and, uh, you know, working out. But um, it's just been another outlet for me to, you know, try to help as many people as I can. So. Which probably makes it you more empathetic yeah. to what people who read your books will feel. Absolutely. Um, you know, during the course of life, I've had to go through um, some difficult experiences, but I believe those experiences just made me stronger and uh, made me more knowledgeable and more empathetic to others. You know, so I'm able to kind of develop more rapport and right. you know, really kind of listen to people rather than you know just listening to respond, but right. actually yeah. listening to hear. Yeah. So. If somebody wants to find your books, where do we find them? Uh, go to cjwardcreations.com, uh, 
And uh, you know, feel free to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, you know, I thank you for your support because I'm a true believer in community and uh, community engagement. Well, thank you so much, CJ, for everything you're doing. I love what you're doing, and you keep on doing it. Awesome, I will. And do you have a book in the works right now? Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, do. no pressure. We'll be waiting for it. Well, we have a pro promotion. The first caller right now is going to get a free book written by CJ Ward. The awesome. number is on your screen, so call that. Maybe it'll inspire them to write some that's books right. and change lives. I hope so. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Well, so. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so, Absolutely so much. Thank you for having me. All of you.